hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to see how we can add a domain account to the remote servers administrator or any other group power users or remote desktop users with the help of the powershell script now we have a three computer here where we you can see in the administrator group there is uh, only the default account and remote desktop user there is nothing and this is the same situation on rest of the two computer So I'll show you how the script work and how we can add the user account to the remote servers administrator or any other group. You can give the any name, power user, uh, print operator, anything uh, remotely. Okay, so let me explain the script little bit. So here we have used the servers variable and you know that it will get a content from this file and where uh, there are three computers in this file. So let me show you that. Okay, server one, two, three, and we have a three client. Then here we have used the group as a variable. So every time when you run the script, it will prompt you to enter the group name, like uh, in which group you want to add the user account, a remote desktop or the administrator or uh, any other power user, print operator, okay? So you have to enter the exact name, what you see in the computer management groups, okay? and then again we have used account as a variable so again it will prompt you which account you want to add into that group and it can be a user account or it can be a security group as well okay i'll show you both things in the practical so uh, we we are getting the option to enter this thing so uh, even this script like uh, every time you run this script it will prompt you for the both the things now here we have used the for each loop so again it will run the command on each computer that is present in this file and you can have the multiple computer here we are invoking the command on each computer so here the first statement we have used is if and else statement so what we are doing in the if so the first thing what we are going to do is we are checking whether that whatever the group or the account we have specified to add into the remote server right that is already part of that group or it is not part of that group so we have made a condition based on the answer so suppose uh, the user account is already there then there is no need to run the further script right we just need a notification okay the, this account is already present on the remote computer fine if it is not there then what we are going to do so here the first statement what we had used is gate hyphen local group member hyphen name so from this group so what it is doing it is checking this group whatever we are specified right administrator group suppose we have given so what it will do in this script it will check the remote computer administrator group and it will match this account okay so what we have given like get the local group member hyphen name from this group where the condition is like the name should match like this the account whatever the account we have given here it will try to match that account in the remote computer and based on the answer suppose it found the account then it will write the message so this is a custom message you can uh, modify according to your use okay so write hyphen host the command we have used here to print something and that we have given already in the script like already added so it will say okay this server this account and group whatever the account we have specified that is already added here suppose it is not there then it will go to the else statement now what is the else statement so here we have added that add local group member hyphen group so what is the group name this is the group name what we have specified here and what is the account that we want to add so what it will do it will add that account into the remote servers that group so whether it is administrator rdp or the power user anything so whatever we have specified it will try to add that account into that if there is any error it will silently continue now again we have used if statement inside the else statement okay so don't get confused here so here we are using the else statement and you can see here this else statement is ending over here right so inside that again we have used if statement suppose our this action is completed or not so we need a acknowledgement correct 
so again we are performing the get hyper local group member and it is again comparing that account whether that account is already like it is added successfully or not if it is added successfully then here uh, we have already specified the custom message okay this account added into this server and then it will exit the script so it will run uh, one by one to each computer and it will perform the task now let me show you how this work okay uh, we have a three computer so first we are going to try with the uh, okay let me show you the group as well okay i have a john account okay no problem so we'll add john into the administrator group okay let me run the script okay enter the group name of the remote so first administrator and which account you want to add i want to add john in the administrator group on all three computer if i hit enter it will show okay added successfully correct so let me verify one correct john added successfully here in the second and it is in the third as well john now what i'll do i'll again run the script because the account is already added there right so what what it is giving me i'll uh, run that again it is the group name administrator and the account john john already added so here we we are giving that okay john is already added here and here the, in the first command added successfully it means here it performed the task but here it just verified okay that account is already there nothing has to be done okay now this is about the user account but now we are going to add a security group as well so let me show you that um, which account okay this one so let me copy the name and you can see the three john ron these three members is already added into that group will add that account in the administrator i'll again show you here there is no that security group is not present on all this computer so let me run the script again okay enter the group name okay administrator and the which group you want to add so i want to add this group see added successfully and now let me verify here you can see here that is added successfully okay let me remove that you can see here added successfully and here as well okay so let me again run i removed from the one computer this account so this time it should only add in the one computer okay you can see here correctly it is added successfully so it added the account in the server one because i had deleted that and other computer already have the account so no need to do anything now uh, we can use the separate uh, group as well okay so let me use the power user so on three computers power user it is blank okay now i'll add the ron user into that let me see the power users okay so i'm running the script now on the power user power users okay and then account name ron this time added successfully okay so let me verify that okay you can see ron here ron here as well and here as well okay so you can use uh let me show you the remote desktop user as well because it have a three two space inside the okay remote desktop users fine user and then account john Added successfully. Let me verify. John, correct. John and John. 
okay so john added successfully so it is giving the result like this if you uh, need any help you can just put the your questions into the comment box i'll try to answer that thank you for watching the video